to get ready for this video. I have a feeling I should put my hair up in case we fight. Just kidding. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today I've decided to make an extra video this week because I've been seeing a lot of stuff about this Senator Maureen Walsh who said some things about nurses. So we're going to go ahead and watch that. Oh, but first, give me one second. Okay, you know I can't watch a video and do a nurse reaction without my doctor's stethoscope here. And um, obviously, my playing cards. Before I start this reaction video, I wanted to tell you that I work in West Virginia currently, and there are 20 critical care access hospitals in West Virginia, and those are some of the sickest patients we get. They get transferred to us a lot. Those patients are sick. Those hospitals are busy, those nurses are busy, and just felt like I wanted to say that because I have a little bit of experience with this subject before I start talking about the video. Let's get right into it. Six patients in that hospital. I'm in an underserved area, and all we're doing is making it more difficult to be served. I understand helping with employees and making sure that we have rest breaks and things like that. But Okay, so far she isn't off to a terrible start. She's in an underserved area. She understands helping with employees and needing rest breaks and making sure patients have access to care. So, so far not too bad, but let's see where this goes south. But I also understand that we need to care for patients first and foremost. And by putting these types of mandates on a critical access hospital that literally serves a handful of individuals, I would submit to you those nurses probably do get breaks. They probably play cards for a considerable amount of the day. But the reality is this bill does not apply to critical access hospitals. All right, I see where this went wrong now. She does not know she's got herself into. I cannot believe she said that. I mean, I can believe it kind of because I read it, but I still thought maybe the stuff I was reading was taken out of context. And once I watched the video, it would be a little bit different. And maybe that's not what she meant, but that's definitely what she meant. Um, cards. I actually have never seen anybody play cards in the hospital. So that was just really random. Of all the things she could have chose to say those nurses were doing, playing cards was not on the top of my list. But regardless, I'm sure they don't get breaks all the time. I'm positive they're not playing cards. Critical access hospitals are extremely busy from my personal experience and what I've heard from people I know who work in them. They are very understaffed. They have very sick patients. They're sometimes out in the middle of nowhere. Transport times to other hospitals are very long. They can't send patients out who are unstable, so they must stabilize patients with limited resources before they can send them to a bigger institution. Critical access hospitals are very important. Maureen Walsh made a mistake, big mistake, and I don't think she knows what she's gotten herself into. I actually kind of feel bad for her right now because I'm sure she's getting a lot of hate. And I'm not making this video out of hate. I'm making it for a reaction. But, whew. There's actually a second part to this video and it's about mandating eight hour shifts. Somebody messaged me about it on Instagram. So I want to watch that part of the video too. I don't think it's as offensive, but I wanted to see it and kind of react and see what the bill's all about. I'm not really familiar with this bill until just now once I started getting into all of this controversy. So let's see. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, if we have an issue with nurses getting tired, let's quit letting them do 12 hour shifts. Let's let them do eight hour shifts like most standard shifts are. Okay. Um, I feel like I get speechless every time I hear this lady speak, but let's let them do eight hour shifts. Let's let them stop doing 12 hour shifts. Like, thank you, ma'am, for letting us do the shifts that we need to do. We really appreciate it. That just really rubbed me the wrong way. Okay. So eight hours, 12 hours, really no matter how long you work, you're going to be tired because you're going to be busy the whole time. But it's very hard to work eight hours as a nurse because you're trying to catch up the entire time, even when you're working 12 hours or more. So by limiting you down to eight hours, you're playing catch up. And at the end of eight hours, I bet you're not done with your charting. You're not done with everything you need to do. And then you're going to be forced to leave, which is very stressful. It actually like stresses me out thinking about that. So the rationale I don't understand, but let's see what else she has to say. 12 hours, I know they want it, but then they come back and they start talking out of both sides of the mouth and telling us how tired they are. Let's make them eight hour shifts. I commend the amendment to you. Wow. So that was a little rude. Uh, I don't really like the way this lady is talking. 
but she just said that we complain about being tired, talk out of the sides of our mouths. I don't really even know what that means, but it sounds rude and condescending, so I'm just gonna assume that it is and that we come back complaining that we're tired, so let's let them do eight hour shifts. The complaint is not that we are tired. The complaint is that we are understaffed, have unsafe patient to nurse ratios, and no breaks, and no way to get a break when it's too busy to have one. So I think she's misinterpreted everything that's happened and is just blaming it on that we're tired. Well, yes, we're tired, but if we had the resources we need, we wouldn't be so tired. So you're addressing the wrong problem here. If shifts were changed to eight hours, I was talking to somebody about Instagram on this recently, but if shifts were changed to eight hours, it would be almost impossible to staff hospitals. It's hard enough to staff hospitals with 12s and imagine trying to do it with eights. Right now, we're understaffed where I work, we're understaffed where almost everybody else I know works. So imagine trying to staff three whole shifts instead of two. I can't even imagine, but that's not a great plan. And it also says, I was reading this article a little bit, it also says that the bill says that there's no exception to the eight hours. So like once you hit it, they don't care about patients, they don't care about anything else, you're not allowed to stay. So I'm a little confused about what happens if no other nurse comes in or your patient's crashing or what, are you supposed to leave in the middle of this? I have no idea, but it's not a good plan in my opinion as a nurse. I highly doubt Senator Walsh is going to watch this video, but if she does, in my opinion, what I think nurses want is safe patient nurse ratios, adequate staffing, and breaks during their shift. It's pretty simple, and then we won't be complaining, and then you won't be saying that we're talking out of the sides of our mouth saying we're so tired all the time. I actually worked in California for a while when I was travel nursing, and they have it down, like every other state needs to copy California. We had mandated breaks, so during our 12-hour shift, we had two 15-minute breaks and one 30-minute break, and during those times, a break nurse actually gave us the break, so we truly had a break and weren't taking care of our patients because we had handed off care. We also had mandated patient-to-nurse ratios, depending on the acuity of the patient and what else was going on, so you never got an unsafe assignment. And in addition to all that, after eight hours, we got paid time and a half. So if you worked 12 hours, you got paid eight hours of normal time and then four hours of time and a half because technically the other four hours was overtime. So California's got it down. Other states need to take notes. Maybe there's other states like that, but the only one I've worked in is California. And I had a great experience there. The nurses were happy. The nursing was great. I actually got to take amazing care of my patients. We had so much support and I absolutely loved it. All right, you guys, that's it for this reaction video. I've been seeing so much stuff about it. I really wanted to react to it. And all in all, I think that she spoke without thinking. I'm pretty sure that's what happened and she's gonna receive a lot of backlash. I actually feel kind of bad for her because I don't think she knows what she's gotten herself into. I saw on Facebook that a bunch of nurses got her address off of her website and were sending her pictures of them with cards and also sending her packs of cards off Amazon, which I thought was pretty funny. Anyway, I think that she's gonna realize what nurses really do because she's gonna receive so much education. Try to be respectful when you're giving uh, criticism to this lady because we don't wanna seem unprofessional, I guess, but it is really funny, the whole thing, so. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you can see more of my videos. I hope you guys have an amazing week. Actually, sorry, this is an extra video, so I'll see you again tomorrow when I post my weekly video, but I hope you have a great Saturday and I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you need me, I will be playing cards. Mm -hmm.